here in New Orleans. Saw him in the hallway, had to grab him. Rick Fox, how are you? Tried to do a trade with you, man. I know. Well, you be, you're like Belichick. A little bit, a little bit. I, I, I it's work. only a trade if it's good for you. <laughs> yeah, but we we're in make... a salary cap fantasy league together. Yep, and, we, uh, and we're both in the middle we're of battling. the We're battling, we're in the middle, trying to get out. One of us should just agree to hand over the goods to the other, and then the next year maybe, should, maybe we'll return to favor. Maybe do a flip after the, All right, after for the that. thing. So you come to Boston, 91. Yeah. 91? 91, yeah. My senior in college, but I was coming back and going to all those bird games. That was the last oh, year. Oh, man, that was a tough tickets. year. That was a tough year. You're a good team. We had a, de we had a really decent team. Should have beaten Cleveland. We, we should have beaten Cleveland. Uh, Larry, I think we went to the game seven, did I think we did. We lost to them in Cleveland in game seven. Larry's back just couldn't hold up. He was brilliant at times, just not consistently that year. And uh, that was the last year of the big three. I'm looking on the wall, I can see yeah. it, man. It was a good memory. They, they were my veterans. I came in as a rookie, and I got to experience basketball and, and how it should be done from a professional standpoint. And I think it fueled my later success. Pretty so you, you come into that team, you have yeah. the big three. Then you have the young guys, you and D. Brown, yeah. Brian Shaw. That's right. And it was like this old school, new school thing. Those two Celtic years were really fun. The year before you got there and then that year. Yeah. And each year I felt like we could have made the finals. The it's Cleveland game, game four, we're, I think we're up like four or five or something. Yep. We score, Price goes coast to coast, gets fouled, and it like flipped the game. Great we memory, lost man. That's a great memory. You just took I'm me back. I'm haunted by that play. I'm getting chills right now because yeah. you throw yourself right back into the playoffs. And I was a rookie that year. And so... I had every expectation that we were going to be in the finals because mm. I was playing with Larry Bird in the big three, and that's what happens for the Celtics. Uh, and you mentioned those two years. D. Brown was coming up, Reggie Lewis. Wow, we, he we was were going to talk busting about into his, uh, his, uh, it was his, breakout. his stardom, his breakout, and, uh, and then he passed away the year after. And it seemed like at that point everything slid downhill after that. Yeah, you were there for you know, kind of the cross between the two eras. Right. The Reggie thing, you know, I just think he doesn't get his just due historically. That was the only guy I saw from that era at that position who would really go with Jordan. Like, he yes. gave Jordan, back me up. Yeah, yes, he did. He did. I was gave there. Gave Jordan a lot of trouble. He sure did. He was long. He was smooth, uh, effortless, unassuming at times. Then you'd look up and you'd have 36, 38, like you say, against the best in, in Mike. And, and I saw it firsthand. I saw it every day in practice. I looked up to him. His, uh, and, and I haven't talked about it much over the years, but he called me literally the day he died. He called me, and I was at Jordan's Furniture. Remember Jordan's Furniture? Yeah. I was getting some furniture, and he said, hey, man, I got clearance to play. I got clearance to shoot again. Meet me at Brandeis. And I was like, I'll be down there, man. And I literally drove. If, if Jordan's Furniture wasn't so far away, I probably would have been there that day and oh, may have wow. been able to, to maybe get him over to the hospital quicker. But I showed up at home, and I turned on the TV for a second, and there it was, man. He had collapsed and was at the hospital, and it was the first one there. Uh, and ML Carr was there, and they were trying to save him. And you know, it's just like it was. I look back now, and years later, and I just think he would have been one of the greatest players. I mean, he would have been a great Celtic, and he would have won championships. And well, it's, it's unfortunate. The, like you see Reggie Miller and what happened to him in the mid '90s, and he kind yeah. of ascended, and he became kind of the Jordan challenger. Yeah. Reggie used to kill Reggie Miller. People don't, people don't he, remember Reggie him. Reggie Miller could not even touch him in those games. And I really think that would have been Reggie's spot again, they, they as would the have Jordan been, rival. They would have battled, that's for sure. And I, yeah. I think when you look at their frames, similar frames, Reggie to me just, you know, I mean, there's two Reggies. We're talking Reggie, Reggie Lewis Reggie. in my case. Uh, he, just had, <clears throat> he just had long arms, longer arms, just had more elevation on his shot. And just you couldn't get to him. Just couldn't get to him. I was at the game when he collapsed against Charlotte, which was 93. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he just I didn't know what happened. He, had, he Well, the thing is, he came out. He was out of his mind. I think yeah. he had like 12 points in the, the first, first four or five minutes. Yep. And watching it, thinking like, he's going to have 60 points. Like, yep. And then all of a sudden, he was sitting on the floor with his, with his hands. And then he walked by. We were sitting in the tunnel. He walked right by us. He kind of seemed out of it. Yeah. And we were like, that was weird. Like, did he pull a hand? I thought, I thought, like, he pulled a calf muscle yeah. or something. Yep. But uh, it was tough. I mean, you were there basically for the last hurrah of that whole big three era. And then every year I watched. It flipped. Rookie year, big three, Larry retires. Next year, Kevin retires. Robert Parrish leaves and goes to Chicago. They tear down the Boston Garden. Reggie <laughs> Lewis dies. Yeah. 
Dominique comes in. We ex Xavier's there. We struggle for a while. Sherman Douglas. But somehow and then Rick almost Pitino. beat Orlando. Yeah, I know, right? Of all things, it was a Shaq team. Uh, I'll never forget that. They went to the finals, and we almost we almost we had a we almost one nipped lead. them. We almost <laughs> nipped them. Uh, and uh, and then I was the captain. I always say I was the captain of the Titanic. The year right. we won 15 games. And uh, I went we to a were, lot of those, those games. <laughs> God bless you. I did. <laughs> Thank you well, very much. My dad had the season tickets. I'm living in buses. Like, I don't want to go. I'm like, right, I'll go. I'll we take won, a date. We won 15 games, and we were trying to get Tim Duncan. Remember that? We had two picks. The third, and you know, we're thinking with two picks, two high picks, you're going to get maybe one or two. And we're going after Tim. And, and luck of the, unluck of the Irish, I guess, we get the third and the sixth pick, the two worst picks we could have possibly gotten. Rick I still blame myself. I was dating some girl, and she lived in the. She had a summer house in the Cape, yeah. and I went to watch the ladder with her instead of my dad. And I still feel like I swung the ladder. Swung the ladder. Like the oh, basketball guys were like, "What are you doing? You're not going to marry this girl. Watch <laughs> it with your dad. This is the biggest moment of the so decade." So that's why I wasn't a Celtic fan. Yeah, 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 that's. Rick Pitino came in, and well, you you were lucky. You got out. And, and yeah, Pitino. looking back, it, 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 yeah, looking back, it, it ended up being really fortunate because I I bled green, man, and. and didn't think in, didn't think I'd play anywhere else. I'd, I'd lay on the floors and look up at the rafters and, and you see all the self. banners. I'm gonna give that to you. They gave me a lot you of love, and they still the give me a lot of love. They really do. And hey, man, it was I was blessed, man. Red Auerbach drafted me of all things. You know, he drafts me, booed. I got booed on draft day, and and I don't he that. yeah, I got booed, and he got and he had to stand up for me. He had to literally go, hey, whoa, whoa, you guys don't know this guy, but did we gonna... take you over somebody the fans wanted? I don't know. No, I had that. A, I had a really terrible. Uh, final four game. I was five for 25. Uh, and we lost, and they thought, and you know, in Big East, Dave Gavitt was a Big East guy, and you yeah. know, they, they wanted they wanted probably a Big East player of some sort. And That's stupid. Yeah, but it ended up he stood up for me, man, and it ended up. Uh, do you think we should do a Grantland oral history on that 15 win Celtic team? Because that was an nine, unbelievable season. Oh my gosh, nine guys went down and had surgery that year. Antoine was playing center. Antoine was playing center. He had. Todd he, Day was. Like this, ML, gave, ML gave him free reign to do whatever he wanted. I think really set him on course to really <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was probably to on the wrong course because yeah. he just had no, they didn't, he wasn't reined in. You couldn't tell him anything. He was like a 15-year-old high school freshman who was allowed to go out every night till 4 in the yeah, morning. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And, it was like, and, Anton, just shoot from anywhere. Anywhere, it's anywhere. And he just, he took advantage of it. Yeah, but that's, we should, we should look back on that. Maybe it'll purge some of my scarred memories. Todd Day's shot selection was rough. But he had, but he had a couple like forty point games. Yeah, yeah. I think he had the house record. Yeah. He had like fifty three in the in the new. We would, it was a strange year, man. It, it took me. I was a slow. I was slow on the uptake that year, man, because I was a captain, and it was the Celtics. You played every game to win. You played every season to win championships. That was tough. And I went out every night, and it was, you know, we'd be up in three quarters. I'd you know have thirty four points in three quarters. I'm thinking, oh, we're gonna win. Right. Then we go sit down, and AC Earl would check in the game. Different guys would jump. What are we doing? Where'd like, I'm that looking guy around, come from? What, what, what is this about right now? Like, you know, we, we have a five, six, six, five point lead. Like, we're going to lose the lead. No disrespect, AC. You, you know, you, but it's just, right. come on. And then you there realize. Was some I, think I, I, I think I picked it up at about game 73. I went, oh, yeah, oh this is what's going <laughs> on. something's happening here. And it, it just, you know. I it, remember I went to the Detroit game when I think Grand Hill became the first guy ever to score on the. <laughs> The, oh, like the zero point whatever seconds left, they did the little thing and it was like a tip yeah. play and it went in. It was like, wow, we just created a new way to lose. I've yeah. never seen that before. <laughs> it's a new one. Is that That's, legal? Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, we lost a uh, new one. <laughs> so the then year. you go to the Lakers. I go to the Lakers and, and the way I got there, oddly enough, was when you mentioned Rick Patino coming in. Rick came in and I went and sat down because I was the captain and he wanted to know what happened. Yeah. And I said, you can't really explain what happened, Rick. I mean, we were really bad and we had guys going in different directions and uh, we were trying to make it happen, but he said, look, well, you know, you're the captain going forward and I want you to be here. And, uh, and then he traded you a minute later. Hold on. So we, we negotiated a contract. He'd, went, he'd gone out to, to L.A., met with Arm Tellum, we yeah. needed a big guy. We lost Tim Duncan. We didn't get the number one pick. So he yeah. signed Travis Knight, who was opposite Shaq. $20 million. Who had an amazing $21 million. Yeah. Told him on Friday, yeah. don't keep this under wraps. I'm going to go back and sign Rick because i got to get him under contract before we bring you in. Mm. And we negotiated on the weekend. It was like a $33 million deal. And, and, uh, and I, I literally woke up Monday morning to go get a haircut. I was on the way to get a haircut to do the press conference. My agent called and he said, uh, 
hey, um, you, you, you just got renounced. Yeah. And once again, my slow on the uptake thing, I was like, what's that mean? What's renounced? I've never heard anybody, I've heard people get waived, but what does renounce mean? And he goes, yeah, you just lost all your bird rights. And so I had literally become a free agent and I couldn't resign with the Celtics for 90 days. So Red Arback called me up and he said, hey, Rick, um, uh, sorry about what happened. We really got caught in a pickle. We, we need a big man. We, we, we know we're going we're gonna to take care of you. We want you to wait 90 days and we'll sign you as soon as we can. Uh. And we'll actually pay you more. And I was thinking, at that point, I was so crushed. I was like, I, I just was just hurt. You know, I was just thinking to myself, how do you, how do you just renounce me? Like, I, I, bleed, right. I bleed green. Like, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a Celtic. I, like, how did this happen? And, and, and so I was really upset with Patino and I went and sat with him and I wanted answers, man. I was like, and he was like, "Look, you know, I'm sorry we had to do this, and, but we want you to come back." I was like, "I can't trust you." He's a used car salesman. I can't, I can't trust you, man. And He's then, like, "Rick, we love you." Jerry West was <laughs> yeah, called yeah. the next day, and I think I could only make a million dollars that year, which is a lot of money. But it was I was not what you, you know not could have made what I could have made, and I went on the circuit, Knicks and Hawks and Lakers. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get as far as, away as I can, and and Shaq was there, and you know, I, I was I was the Mini GM and trying to figure, you know, I think Shaq's going to win some championships, man. That was probably I'm gonna go, a smart I'm going to go chase. Assumption. I'm going to chase that, be a part of that team, and and uh, that's how I ended up a Laker. Patino man, was unbelievable. I, I, it's like we, we traded Chauncey yeah. after 50 games. And Chauncey he goes on to be. I told this story before, but he had this show, the Bob Bell show. He yeah. Was on yeah. Sunday nights. Wow, that's right. And they were like, what about, you know, you gave up on Chauncey? And he's like, we didn't give up on Chauncey. We thought he was fantastic. And I'm sitting at home, I'm, I'm like, you just traded him after 50 games. Yeah, yeah, so you quick, thought he was fantastic. That's a quick he, hook. But it was just, that was who he was. He yeah. was he's saying one thing and doing another thing. And after, after a while, you just realized he was just full of crap. It's, uh, yeah, it was, it was just something that I, I'm grateful for now that it happened the way it happened. But I wish, I always still wish I would have gotten one in green, you know. I wish I would have won one in green. Why, didn't, why haven't you written, have you written a book? Not yet. Why haven't you written a book about your Lakers Laker years? It, that could have been a 220 page yeah, bestseller. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, like Phil, I, Phil has written a couple of them. Shaq and Kobe. Have Phil just keeps that. writing yeah, the same can, book because there's, there's still so title. much to tell. Yeah. I, I keep reading them, going, "Oh, he left a lot out." Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like there's a lot to still tell. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Yeah, uh, outside of um, maybe, you know, not being a writer myself, but I'd have to be fortunate enough to sit down with someone that can is brilliant enough to write a, a, a great book and. When did you really start to get worried about the Shaq and Kobe thing? Uh, I think we were always on edge. We were uh. always on edge about it because it, it, they, I think, got off to a poor start from day one. You know, Kobe is a strong-willed individual, two alpha, two alpha males uh, in the area of basketball. And from that standpoint, Shaq had only known. It, he's only had his own team. You know, Orlando yeah. was his team. L.A. was going to be his team. And Kobe only wanted his team. Yeah. And so they were going to butt heads. And, and we, you know, I was the third captain between, like, Phil put me in the middle of those two guys. And so I was a tri captain with them. And, and it was interesting trying to, you know, be authentic with each one and, and, and really be truthful about what was going on. Yeah. And at the same time, though, not play a favorite. Because, it, it, you know, for a number of the years, they did not get along. They didn't like each other. But at the end of the day, they needed each other. Uh, and they would they would move in and out of, of a healthy respect for what what each one did, and then within three four games it would shift and, and they, but they were competitive and that's I think that's what kept us going. Uh, Brian Shaw, Derek Fisher, Robert Ory, you know, you guys had Harper, great yeah. yeah, and that's what I think miss was missing in, in great teams. These young teams are that have a lot of young talent, quite frankly, have too many too much youth, and it's it's the potential's there, but they need to be supported with. Seems like Oklahoma City got that. They got it. They figured it out. And I think Fisher that's why they keep bringing Perkins Derek back. And I think Nick Collinson's, Nick Collinson's been brilliant that way. Perkins, uh, his scowl alone, I think, just kind of polices. He could have been a 15th man on that team. Yeah. Maybe a little comeback. Yeah, a little comeback. Uh, <laughs> Shoot some threes in the corner. Hey, look, you know, if Derek's doing <laughs> it at, at 40 years old. Who uh, the, he's actually having a good season. Uh, there you go. And I'm th I think he has a thing with Kobe. I think they're trying to outlast each other. Oh, it's, uh, it's I think. So they came in together. It's a to fight the to the end. Who's going to be the I'm old? I'm not retiring. You're not retiring. Right. Um, when, I, mean, I don't know how long this Kobe thing goes, yeah. but how long do you see it going? I can't imagine him just saying, I'm not good enough anymore. I should quit. Right. 
He'll be like a boxer, right? He'll just keep playing. I really think, I really think there's something left out there for him that he's still chasing. Now, the, whether, the scoring record. No one wants, he'll never admit it. Other people don't believe he'll get there. I saw him two years ago and he told me he was leaving the game. I didn't believe him then. Yeah. Now he's signed on for two more years. Uh, I thought he was going to sign on for four. He, he kind of dropped that hint when he told Dwight, I'm playing for three, four more years. Yeah. I still think he's playing for three, four more years. I do too. I think he'll pass Mike and scoring, but I think he still believes there's a six, definitely a six championship out there for him. And I think it's going to maybe be harder for him to get that as a Laker, but I don't think he'll ever leave. So I think he'll try for another four years as a Laker. In uh, 03, you guys got beat. Duncan was the best player in the series. Yeah. In 04, you kind of left that title on the table. Sure Carl Malone got hurt, but do you feel like that's a lost title? Uh, I don't want to diminish what Detroit did because they were. I, I remember playing them in the middle of the season and commenting that I thought they were going to be out, come out of the East. Yeah. Uh, I just thought they defended too well. Right. And they were holding teams under 70 for stretches of like nine games, which just told me right there. And then defense wins championships, and if they can hold that up in the playoffs, that they'd, they'd really be a, a force to reckon with. We, I just thought, did not, didn't respect them. We didn't respect them. We had Gary Payton. They could show up. We, did, we just thought we could show up. Shaq, Kobe, Gary Payton, Carmelo. Carmelo was hurt, but still, we, just, we were too arrogant. And yeah. they jumped. They jumped on us, and then and Kobe hits that game winner in the second game of that series, and we think, oh, we're one one. We'll go to Detroit and we'll grab two games. Uh. We by the time they beat us down in that third game, as bad as they beat us, we were shell shocked. And then you could tell in the in the, the film room, you know, we were going through the film, and guys were just pointing fingers, and and then it just and falls it, apart. And it just House boy, of the cards. wheels came off, yeah. so quickly, and uh, and at that point, I thought Carl would at least try to play. Yeah. He was just like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and I thought, about, hey, man, this is your last year. run. How are you? I'm going hunting. But yeah, he, yeah. yeah, he started hunting in game yeah, four, like, man. Right. I'm going to go hunting <laughs> started right hunting now. in game four. Rick Fox, come see us in our L.A. studio. We yeah, I'm, I'm an this L.A. guy, fun. man. I can't believe we haven't done this yet. I, I appreciate you having me, man. Good stories. You were a good Celtic. Thank you, man. Be proud. It means a you lot coming from you. You were proud, man. You policed the, you policed the Celtic guard. It so. was sad. It was sad that it fell apart for everybody. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Please watch more from Grantland Channel. We are very competitive, and we're currently getting our asses kicked by cat videos. Would you like to watch another video? There are cats in it. I promise. <laughs>